The Immortal John Hancock here, and I thought I'd do a discussion and talk about how long a game company should support a console on the market commercially. And so, you know, there's lots of different opinions about this. I thought it'd be a, a great discussion to have as, you know, Google Stadia just was discontinued yesterday, uh, you know, a day after this video has been recorded. As well as, you know, Sony announcing, you know, their future plans. It looks like they're really starting to move some, a, ma a majority of their games or game development. They're definitely shifting it towards the PlayStation 5 solely. And so, um, you know, th it, this is going to be a discussion and this people are going to have lots of different opinions of this. And I wanted to first kind of lay out some history of how long previous consoles were supported in handhelds. Uh, looking at the PlayStation 2, one of the most successful consoles of all time, and that was on the market from 2000 to 2013 commercially. That's a long time. Uh, looking at Game Boy, Game Boy was around 1989 to 2003. Holy cow, that's a long time. The Wii, uh, very famous of being uh, very successful with sales. 2006 to 2020. I think Just Dance 2020 was one of the last releases for that. Uh, the Commodore 64, a very famous computer, 82 to 94. The Atari 2600 was on the market from 1977 up to 1992. Commercially supported. That's a long time. Uh, Atari 8-bit, uh, another famous computer line, 79 to 92. And so, you know, Compare that with some other failures, you know, that's a long time. Those those all were commercially successful, and that is really important with this discussion. As, you know, something being supported has to be commercially successful. Uh, for, for people to have expectations of it being around, at least supported, a long time. And that support can look very different with current consoles on the market. Um, and one thing is... They need to have clear communication. A company, in my opinion, needs to have clear communication of when they're going to discontinue a line. And, you know, with consoles on the market now, there's an online aspect of it. You know, in previous generations, uh, there wasn't a big deal with, you know, uh, you know, discontinuing something as, you know, uh, typically the online market wasn't such a big deal. But, you know, with the Wii it was, a lot of people were upset when that, when that marketplace went away and people that the online aspect of the Nintendo Wii went bye-bye and that that can be frustrating and so moving forward when more and more people are now buying using a specific marketplace of a particular console you know that's going to be frustrating when that shuts down for good and you know that can that can bring up a lot of feelings uh, it also reinforces why a lot of people love Steam. You know, Steam's been around a long time. It's not going anywhere, and it just continues to be supported. A lot of people love that. And, you know, looking at the duration of Steam versus some of its console competitors off offering different marketplaces that have come, came and went, I can see why people get frustrated with that. And so, you know, something has to be commercially successful and has to be around, but I don't expect... A company to support uh, an online infrastructure for a, a, a console uh, forever. This doesn't happen. It's not realistic. Um, to me, looking at previous successful uh, consoles and handhelds, I'm looking at, you know, for me, I think it needs to be supported 10 years if it was successful in the market. You know, Sony's done a good job at supporting their consoles when they come out for a long time you know playstation 3 ps2 playstation and playstation 4 have all been supported well beyond their prime and you know i, I think they've done a good job with that eventually they shut down the only the only downside is and, and sony's not the only one looking at xbox looking at nintendo is that on those when those online stores shut down that's frustrating people you know um uh, don't like that you know, I don't like the that a part of my console can no longer be used, and and that can be something moving forward even a bigger deal. More and more people are buying 
on a digital marketplace. And so companies really have to think about that. How are we going to honor that or support those games to still be played, um, you know, or or accessed? And and that's different for every console and handheld. But you know, moving forward, you know, this is going to be a, a big deal with the Switch. It's going to be a big deal with the current consoles on the market. You know, PlayStation Five, Xbox Series X. Um, you know, those are going to have issues when Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo decide to move on to something else. How does that look? Uh, are you able to transfer games? Is it going to have the same or different marketplace? Probably a different marketplace. As few keep the same marketplace like Steam has over the many, many years. Um, so definitely, you know, for me, I'm definitely sticking with that 10-year mark. If something's uh, a viable product, something's commercially successful, it should be uh, supported for uh, 10 years plus. Um, you know, the major companies have done good with the successes and keeping those on the market a lot longer than that. Um, you know, and that, that should be applauded. But expecting uh, a company to support thing something indefinitely, that's just not realistic and it's not going to happen. I think a company should let uh, its user base, people that purchased it, a year in advance if they're going to shut down a, a particular marketplace or cease production or, you know, stop producing games. Uh, the good news, too, the other thing, too, is that there's so many used games on the market that a lot of these consoles can be supported well beyond their commercial aspect of it. And, you know, that's very subjective, too. You know, I look at, you know, the, even the Atari 2600. You know, the Atari 2600 was commercially stopped, uh, you know, in the early 90s. But really, you know, games were readily available for a long time after that. And even going to any retro game conventions, you can find several PS3, Xbox 360, Wii games, DS, you know, PS2, PS1. Games long after a console is not officially supported. And then, you know, eventually in some particular pockets aftermarket games are available to play now i'm not seeing that with a lot of disc based consoles yet but you never know uh there's some complexities with those making that uh a little bit more difficult but you know my hope is that you know the 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 aftermarket community can can carry on some of these consoles and support it you know uh just looking at the wii you know the wii you can soft mod and and play certain games that way, and that's one way. Some people don't want to do that, but but anyways, uh, and and I think when you have an online aspect of a particular console, that's more difficult to carry on. Uh, looking at the Ouya, uh, you know the community of the of the Ouya uh, has definitely rallied and offered uh, a way where you can take an Ouya and still play some games, and I think that's awesome. I haven't really dabbled into that. I, I, it's something on my to-do list that I want to do. But that's pretty awesome that there's communities out there that really want to support a, a discontinued console. So even if a company decides to discontinue something, there are communities out there that will rally and support uh, a console the best they can. And, and, and I think that's wonderful. That's awesome. Heck, there's even a, there's a Dreamcast game on a demo that, of a short I just recently did. And it, it, it offers online play well after Dreamcast has been discontinued. And so there's these specific consoles that are still supported way after they're, uh, they've been uh, uh, stopped being produced. And I think that's fantastic. So here's the question I have for you folks. How long do you expect a console or handheld to be supported by a company? And that could be the online store. It could be parts. It could be commercially viable in the comments below i want to hear your uh, opinions about that as well as your experiences have you had negative uh, experiences with something being discontinued and what was that and i want to hear about that and i want to thank everybody for coming to my channel i thought i'd do a interesting talk discussion today and i do all sorts of types of videos everything from atari to xbox retro modern and a whole bunch of fun and thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. 
This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.